Good morning and welcome to Books and Blocks from the Carnegie Public Library in Washington Courthouse, Ohio. My name is Miss Noel and um, welcome. Good morning. Uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and wait just a few moments while um, some people uh, log in uh, to participate in Books and Blocks this morning. I hope everyone is enjoying their summer so far and um, enjoying the, the nice uh, sunny weather that we've been having at least here in um, our town in Ohio. I hope your town is um, having some nice weather too. If you are joining, please let me know uh, who you are and um, by making a comment and I can say good morning to you. So once again, this is Books and Blocks, the toddler story time brought to you by the Carnegie Public Library in Washington Courthouse, Ohio. And thank you for joining today. So um, every time we get together for Books and Blocks, we sing our song, Hello Friends. I'll show you the signs if this is your first time joining. Uh, the sign for hello, we'll do a soldier salute. Hello. And then um, sign for friend is you take one finger, you take another finger, and you give hugs. All right. So we put those together for our song, Hello Friends. All right. Here we go. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Hello my friends, if you're joining me for uh, the first time or for the umpteenth time, welcome, welcome. Please let me know that you are here by leaving a comment for me and also, if you haven't done so already, make sure that you like our Facebook page. We have lots of goodies on there for you, as well as um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. So you wanna follow us and subscribe so that you don't miss out on all of the great programming that we are offering to you this summer uh, virtually. All right, just a little, a few announcements other than what I just said. We have our summer reading program happening and even the littlest of the littles of our library patrons can participate. Um, just give us a call here at the library and we'll, we'll talk you through it all. Um, basically, you just keep track of books that you're reading this summer with your littles and um, any story times that you attend. And then at the end of the summer, you can get uh, that, you turn that in for some prizes. So like I said, you can um, participate even with your non yet readers. And uh, just, we wanna keep everybody reading and enjoying those good stories uh, this summer. Also, uh, the library has opened even more now to the public. We are open Monday through Thursday, uh, 10 to 2, and on Fridays from 2 to 6. Wednesdays uh, do remain um, open for our at-risk population, our, our, um, so we want to keep that in mind. Um, but we are offering still our curbside so if you need anything, just give us a call and we'll be happy to walk you through the various options available to you um, so that you can still utilize your public library. All right, so we sang Hello Friends. There's another song we've been singing this summer. Uh, uh, every summer story time that we've had so far and that is Summer is Coming. So let's go ahead and sing that together. Summer is coming, summer is coming, yes it is, yes it is. Fun is in the air, sunshine here and there. Summer's here, summer's here. That's right. And this summer, our summer reading program is Imagine Your Story. That's right, Imagine Your Story. And this week, we're doing Land of Mother Goose. We've done some other lands. We've did Land of the Littles, Land of Heroes, Land of Make-Believe, and now we're doing Land of Mother Goose. So I have um, some different Mother Goose rhymes for you as well as a story someone put together with all those rhymes that I think you will enjoy. So in order to get ready for our story, let's go ahead and sing can you hop like a bunny? 
All right. Now, in order to do this one, you have to stand up. All right. And if you're joining me, please leave a comment so I can say hi to you. All right. So go ahead and stand up. I'm going to try to see. You got to make some room. Let's see. I'm going to turn you a little bit here. Okay. So I'm going to you don't have as much room today. Let's see, here. You gotta move a chair, move a chair, right? Here we go. Can you hop, hop, hop like a bunny? Can you run, run, run like a dog? Can you walk, walk, walk like an elephant? Can you jump, jump, jump like a frog? Can you swim, swim, swim like a goldfish? Can you fly, fly, fly like a bird? Can you sit right down and fold your hands and not say a single word? Shh. Are you ready? All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? Awesome. So the book I have for you today is, oh, it's over here. Mother Goose's Pajama Party. Doesn't that sound fun? To have a pajama party with Mother Goose and all of the characters from the Mother Goose rhymes. And there's Mother Goose. She's riding on a goose <laughs> with a book in hand. Now this story is by Dana Smith, illustrated by Virginia Allen. And even look up here. Look at the cow. The cow that jumped over the moon is He's wearing pajamas. All right, let's take a look at our book. Here is the inside. We see a little house. And on top of the house is a weather vane with a goose. Mother Goose's pajama party. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer to you so you can see these beautiful pictures. Here we go. Starlight, star bright, come to story time tonight. Bring your friends and don't be late. Meet at my house, half past eight from Mother Goose. And there she is. She's letting everybody know about the pajama party. Your friends, oh, I'm sorry, let's see. The moon was first to see the note. She showed the cow what mother wrote. So mother goose wrote the, the note in the sky and the moon saw it first, so she showed the cow. The cow told Dish, and Dish told Spoon. Spoon told Cat, who fiddled a tune. And also, who are these guys? Can you see them? The three blind mice? That's right. Cat whispered, to a boy named John with one shoe off and one shoe on. There we go. Jack a dandy filled a sack and slung his treats across his back. Wow, look at all those tasty treats. Wee Willy Winkle spread the word and Georgie Porgy overheard, he told Bo Peep with one quick kiss, then shared it with another miss who left behind her curds and whey and ran to pick a bright bouquet. Mary Mary picked one too while Betty tried to find her shoe. There's Betty, she's looking under her bed for her shoe. Oh, but it's behind her. It's right there. Oh, look at everybody. Hi, Levi. Thanks for coming, buddy. Good 
morning, Levi. Look, we're reading a story called Pajama Party. And everybody's coming to the pajama party. We got the cow, the cat, the dish, and the spoon. Jack the pig. <clears throat> Miss Tuffet. Mary Contrary. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nimble Jack, so spry and quick. Led them with his candlestick. And there's Jack with the candlestick at the front, leading them the way to Mother Goose's house for the pajama party. They came upon a crooked house, a crooked man and a crooked mouse. Then all together, single file, they walked the final crooked mile. Oh, look, who's up there? Who is that guy? It's the gingerbread man. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Look, there's Mother Goose. There she is. And she says, Right on time at half past eight, they march through Mother Goose's gate. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. They dressed in jammies old and new. Mother Goose wore PJs too. Handy Spandy Jack a Dandy shared his cake and sugar candy. That's right, he shares is sharing all his treats that he brought with him. And look at all of them in their jammies together. Having a pajama party. They gathered in the reading nook with Mother Goose's famous book. She read of those who sat beside her, dish and spoon and Muffet spider. And there's the spider. Hi, Miss Cora. Thanks for coming. There's Miss Muffet's spider. She read of those who were not there, like simple Simon at the fair. She read of ships and seas they roam. She read until Peep's sheep came home. There's little Miss Bo Peep's sheep. With happy hearts and bellies stuffed, yawns were yawned and pillows fluffed. She kissed each little sleepy head and tucked them soundly into bed. Even the little gingerbread man is down there in bed. So not only was it a pajama party, but it was a sleepover too, how fun. There's Mother Goose with her candle. Then Mother Goose blew out the candle. Sleep my children. Sweet dreams. And there she is. Good night. Oh, hi, Declan and Bridget. Thanks for coming today. What's nice about this book, uh, Mother Goose's Pajama Party is that it has all of the um, nursery rhymes in it that it talks about in the story. Oof, kind of all over the place here. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> so this week we're doing the land of Mother Goose. So we just read this awesome story about how um, Dana Smith put some the nursery rhymes into one story about all of the characters coming together for a pajama party and sleepover. So it's time for a magical slumber party is what it says on the back. And indeed it was very magical. So I hope you enjoyed that pajama party book. Um, and some of the um, nursery rhymes that were in here, I wanted to, to go over with you as well. So one was um, Mary had a little lamb. I don't know if it mentioned it in there, but Mary had a little lamb. This is a good one. I want to share it to you from this book. <clears throat> and this illustrator 
Michael G. Montgomery, he's really good. Look at this little lamb at the schoolhouse. Look at that little lamb there. And some of you, you probably know this one. I know um, most of it, but then um, um, they have more verses to it, actually, than uh, what I know by heart. So I wanted to read it to you. Um, also, you could probably... What's nice about the Mother Goose rhymes is that they're so sing-songy. You end up singing it but, uh, more than you end up singing it, so... Here is Mary had a little lamb. So I'll show you the picture if I can get it. There we go. There's the little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. It followed her to school one day. That was against the rule. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb in school. And so the teacher turned it out. But still it lingered near and waited patiently about till Mary did appear. Why does the lamb love Mary so, the eager children cry? Why Mary loves the lamb, you know, the teacher did reply. So that's the full rhyme, Mother Goose rhyme. But we know it as Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. That's right. So you guys can sing that song at home together. Um, and um, we also have, as you can see, kind of all behind me, we have all kinds of Mother Goose books. So if you needed to brush up on your Mother Goose, um, you can always give us a call. We'll put some books together and you can uh, check them out and continue your land of Mother Goose with your little ones. So uh, next, let's go ahead and do Can You Move With Me? This is another movement uh, song that we've been doing um, this summer. So we're gonna need to stand up. Go ahead and stand up and get ready. All right, so I'm gonna move you over here so I have room. I'm gonna move my bench. All right, can you move with me? Are you ready? Can you wiggle like a worm? Can you squiggle? Can you squirm? Can you flutter? Can you fly like a gentle butterfly? Can you crawl upon the ground like a beetle that is round? Can you move with me? Can you flip? Can you flop? Can you give a little hop? Can you slither like a snake? Can you give a little shake? Can you dance like a bee who was buzzing around a tree? Can you move with me? Good job, everybody. I hope you got some, some moving around in there. Yeah. I wanted to give you some ideas for things that you could do at home together uh, to continue the Mother Goose theme for the week. And that is you can build Humpty Dumpty's wall Right? Let's see. Do I have a good, here's Humpty Dumpty. See him sitting on the wall there? Right, and then he had, then he had a great fall. Oh, so you can play Humpty Dumpty at home, okay? You can also do, we just sang um, Mary Had a Little Lamb, right? And we, we went over the nursery rhyme. You can also do um, give make Mary's little sheep. You can cut out a sheep and then practice wrapping it with yarn or maybe putting some cotton balls on it. And then you can say the nursery rhyme together, okay? To kind of continue continue the mother goose story and then also work on some of those gross motor and fine motor skills uh, that our little ones are always working on right so um is there another one i wanted to share with you guys yes will hillebrand has mother goose picture puzzles 
And this one's fun. He's such a great, I like his illustrations. And since we were talking about Mary sheep, let's do one more. Ba ba black sheep. Okay. So there are the people, right? And here is our little sheep. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master, one for my dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. So your sheep can have fleece as white as snow and like Mary sheep, or you could do a black sheep like our Ba Ba black sheep. There you go. Oh, I hear that Levi. Oh man, oh, this is a great one. So Levi says for Humpty Dumpty, they use hard boiled eggs and one raw egg, then take turns dropping them in a bucket. <sighs> What a great spin on that. That's awesome. Then you see how they how different they are when they break in the bucket, right? Especially that raw egg. All right. So let's go ahead and sing this little light of mine. Again, if you haven't done so already, you want to go ahead and like us on Facebook so you can keep up with all of the great things that we're doing here at the library for you, as well as um, subscribing to our YouTube channel. I wanted to tell you that we have a sidewalk chalk obstacle course out in the front of the library on the, the big step side. So if you haven't done it yet, you want to come out and give it a try. It's lots of fun. Mr. Aaron and I did it and we had a blast. So you don't want to miss out on that as well. All right, go ahead and get your light. Here it is. Here's mine. Here's mine. All right, let's go ahead and sing this little light of mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Okay, let's take it around the world. I'm gonna take this light around the world and I'm gonna let it shine. I'm gonna take this light around the world and I'm gonna let it shine. I'm gonna take this light around the world and I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Okay, now don't let anyone blow it out, all right? I won't let anyone it out. I'm gonna let it shine. I won't let anyone it out. I'm gonna let it shine. I won't let anyone it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. All right, friends, thank you for joining me today for Books and Blocks. Like us on Facebook and check out our YouTube channel as well um, so you don't miss out on all of the great programs and activities that we have planned for you virtually this summer. Until next time, take care. I miss all of you, and I'll see you next week. Bye!